many of you who know me in person know my personality, know how I talk, and know how I interact with people. At the same time, there are people online who don't know me, who won't invest in community, who don't care. They focus on reactionary opinions. I'm fine with that. Online trolls. Online opinionated beings who don't know how to invest in conversations with community. Who don't know how to understand the possibility of aligning with some values and still uh, that this happens. And it, it's also making me sad that I'm seeing indigenous cultures disregarded and disrespected. And then it also hurts when I see our own indigenous relations retaliating with, with similar violence. Um, like burning similar colonial entitlement. It's very affluent, it's negligent of the sacred, it's divorced of responsibility or accountability, it disregards other cultures, it is cultureless. The foundation of America is built on the lives and deaths of indigenous peoples. America is spiritually, morally, and ethically bankrupt. Chocolate chip mint ice cream. I am not going to make rules or regulation in eliminating all chocolate chip mint ice cream because I don't like it. Please don't shove it. What does chocolate chip mint ice cream have to do with a potential gathering of a community? Let's say the theme was water. We all care about the quality of water. What is my opinion, my perspective, my political mentality, and hurt by Burning Man as well? I wish I could have gone 10 years ago. I noticed that capitalism is invading that space and attitudes hurt many communities. Those are actions of individuals. I know some awesome, amazing communities, my feelings, evaluate them, recognize where the origin of some things are, and then try and go forward. This video is, on, is being made on the tail end of re and criticisms deserve to be heard. Perspectives need to be shared. The people being criticized also do deserve an opportunity to voice why act indigenous cultures and communities. It's so very important that we think about how all of our communities are impacted by the ways we connect to each other, by the ways many cultures have suppressed. They believe that non-indigenous peoples gravitate to indigenous spirituality and indigenous teachings because they themselves are feeling the calling of their ancestors. And so my existence as a mixed indigenous person, I would not exist had those things not occurred. Yes. I recognize that colonization was a catalyst, needs to be a catalyst. We ecological system around. Now, as more nations came together from fighting, connecting, bonding, to the environment and have a reciprocal, accountable, responsible relationship with our environment, recognizing that we are not above or below anything, that we have two to five varieties of carrots, that people don't even know that orange carrots are the special one, <laughs> the not so naturally occurring one, corn. So in this I just ask you to think about compassion. I ask you to think about coming to the table and having difficult conversations. We're not going to agree. It's fine. Assumptions. Presumptions. Step away from being in reaction. It's okay to react. It's okay to be a human and have feelings. Please don't.